What's up YouTube? We're back with yet another product review. I was contacted by another company, happens to be on Amazon, that had a dog nail grinder and they asked me to review their product. So they sent it out to me and that's what we'll be reviewing today. So without further ado, the product is the Crocy or Crokey nail grinder. I don't exactly know how to say it. So I'm going to go with Crokey and bite the bullet if I'm wrong. But here it is in itself. Um, I gave another option for those animal owners out there, whether it be cat, dog, or maybe even others that have to maintain their dog's nails over time and want a better option vice using the terrible clippers that are super blunt and don't cut very well and often um, splinter the dog's nails. Or, you know, the other only option besides that is taking your dog to PetSmart and paying 15 or so bucks a visit, which gets expensive over time. I found that these pet nail grinders, um, the last one I reviewed, I'll go ahead and put the link up to that video up here. Go check it out. It's worked great for me. Yet another viable option to not only maintain your dog's nails, but to save you money in the process and have it be a more enjoyable experience for them. If you're looking where to find the copyright free music used in today's video for your streaming or content creation needs, search Savvy Beats on Spotify, Apple, and Amazon Music. I'll be reviewing the Crokey Pet Nail Grinder with three categories. The first being price point, the second being functionality, and the third being quality. And what I mean by that more is visual appearance and how the product feels, whether it feels cheap or well made. Without further ado, cue the B-roll. Okay, I've got to come clean. I accidentally opened this package before the unboxing. However, I left everything that was in it already in it. So the only thing that's gonna be different is obviously you're not gonna see me cut the tape and open the box for the first time in front of the camera. I didn't realize that this was the package for the product that I was gonna be testing that I got sent by the company. Um, I just thought it was one of my packages so I went ahead and opened it and then obviously after the fact realized that it was not the thing that I needed to be opening. Okay, with that being said, let's show you guys what comes in the box. So, inside the box, you'll see here, it's just this, nothing else. You know, it's empty. So this is the Crokey, Crocy, hopefully I'm saying that right, nail grinder. Um, we did a review before on a pet nail grinder this company contacted me and wanted me to review their product so the box as you can see it comes pretty nice very quality box i would say let's go ahead and see what's inside okay so looks like we got a couple different things got a product manual here which is always good for operation and referencing other specific things with the product itself. And then here's the meat and bones. This is the pet nail grinder itself. It comes in a little plastic sleeve. Um, the quality of it looks pretty nice. I mean, it's a very white and a good matte finish. It even has a little cover, as you can see here, that you can put on and take off. And then there's a charger cable for it as well as it looks like a replacement head there you go you guys can see that it's a replacement head for the dog nail grinder or pet nail grinder excuse me um, I don't know quite how to get it off yet but I'll put in another clip here if I figure out how to get this off all right update figured out how to get the cap off to replace the head if need be when the time comes it can focus there so you just go ahead and twist. You'll hear a pop and then it just comes right off. And I imagine we just pulled this out and voila, very easy installation and removal. And then we would just put 
the new one in there. I'm not gonna do it because obviously it's brand new and doesn't need to be replaced. I did want to cover the features of the Crokey dog nail grinder. So first off, most important probably you have the power button. You do have to hold this for about three seconds. And you can see the lights indicate and it, hopefully you hear by the sound that it turns on. It has a couple different LED lights here to help see while grinding your dog's nails, dog or cat's nails. You also have the different speed indicator lights. So one is the lower speed and then you just click up and it goes to the higher speed. There are only two speed settings for this dog nail grinder. And then on the top, you have two different grinding ports here. This is for smaller dogs. This is for medium sized dogs. And I was looking through the instruction manual. You can actually take off the cover. And then you could use the side of this guy to grind larger dogs nails. And on the bottom, you have the charging port, which has a nice rubber cover to keep dust and debris out of the charging port. No! The charging port I did want to mention is a micro USB. The cable it comes with is only about two and a half feet, so not that long. Depending on what the outlet situation is around the place you live, your house, your apartment, wherever, uh, you might want to get a different, a longer one because the one that it comes with again is quite short. One thing I did want to show is what the charging indicator light looks like. It is below again the two speed buttons being low and high. While plugged in I haven't got it to be able to turn on and I don't know if it can because I hold the button as I'll show you here for the same amount of time about three seconds and it doesn't turn on. However if I unplug it which I'll show you now and then try to turn it on it turns on. So I don't know if they designed it to not turn on while it's charging, but that could be, you know, a potential drawback is if you have a low battery and you have to recharge it, you won't be able to use it while it's charging. You'd have to effectively wait until it's done. I wanted to show what it looks like when it's fully charged. This light blinks. If you go back in the video earlier, I'll show it blinking when I first hook it up, but I left it plugged in and as you can see, it's fully charged. Um, if I can get close enough and it can focus. All right, it's probably not gonna let you be able to see that, but you can actually see different levels in the light of the battery. So solid light means fully charged. We've had a few days to play with the Crokey Pet Nail Grinder and we are ready to review the three categories that we mentioned previously in this video. If you don't remember what they are, I'll go ahead and say them again. The first was price point, the second was functionality, and the third was quality. So for as far as price point goes, I'd have to give it a five out of five stars. It comes at $19.99 on Amazon. I'll put the link to the product in the description below. And obviously when it's on sale, it's gonna be cheaper than that. Very affordable at $19.99 to continually use. I mean, you start with the one head and you get a replacement head. So those should last you quite a while. Uh, definitely five out of five stars on price point. You might be asking yourself right about now, why is he wearing the same thing that he was from a few days ago that he is right now? Has he showered? Has he just washed his clothes? You're never gonna know. And second, functionality. I'm gonna have to give this a four out of five stars. And I gave it that score because of what I revealed earlier in the video, where if the product is dead and you plug it in, you can't use it while it's charging. You have to, in fact, wait for it to be charged to some extent to use it which I think is a pretty big drawback for any kind of product that dies nowadays that having it to be able to be in use while it's dead and charging, that is quite valuable. Third, we have quality. So as far as this category goes, the quality, it feels great. The product, even though it comes at 1999, does not feel cheap in any way. The only drawback I'd have to say as far as this product would be at the bottom where I showed you guys that it has a cover for the charging port. And I'm sure you guys saw this part. I actually snapped off the cover because it, you pull it back and have to put the charger in, right? And over time, and I only did it a couple times um, over the course of me messing with the product and it already snapped off. Now it can still fit back on and, and do its job of keeping dust and debris out of the charging port. However, uh, again, that is my only negative review because if you expect people to lift up that tab and it breaks off, that kind of defeats the purpose overall. But that's really the only thing and even then that in itself is quite 
uh, specific and a very small thing of the product because you can still grind your dog's nails and charge it up and whatnot. It's not going to stop that. Uh, again, I'm just for the sake of, of being transparent, I would throw that out there. Well, that pretty much does it for the video. Let me know what you thought of the video in the comment section below. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. If you're liking all the videos we're putting out, product reviews or otherwise, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications so you're alerted when another video gets posted. So as always, stay safe, stay positive, Sav out.